signature full distance world championship event on second weekend of October in Kona, Hawaii, as they have every year since 1982. It's a cinematic, brutal race that begins with a 2.4 mile swim in the Pacific Ocean, followed by a windswept 112 mile bike ride and a marathon through sun blasted lava fields that willed many competitors. That race, first held in Oahu with 15 participants in 1978 before moving to the Kona Coast in 1982, helped launch an entire sport. The location is held in such high esteem it's become synonymous with the world title. If you don't win the world championship, you win Kona. But this year Ironman CEO, Andrew Messick had moved the signature Kona race out of its longtime home for the first time since it was moved from Oahu. The 2021 Ironman World Championships would be held in Street, Georgia, Utah, in May 2022, and the 2022 championship will be held in Kona five months later. I don't think it's healthy for the sport to just cancel the world championship again, Christian Blumenfeld said. Blumenfeld, a 26-year-old Norwegian, won gold in the shorter format race at the Tokyo Games, and designed both championship events in 2022. They needed to find a solution. Utah is a triathlon-crazed state with easy access to medical care and looser COVID restrictions. Due to COVID-19, the 2020 race was initially postponed to and then ultimately cancelled. It is in Hawaii. Still, pro triathletes are happy to be racing for a 2021 championship anywhere, and a share of the $750,000 purse. Winners of the men's and women's field win $125,000. Jan Fridna, a 40-year-old German who is the defending Ironman champion and who also won in 2015 and 2016, understands that logic, but wonders if he'll feel as driven to win in May in Utah as he has felt each fall in Hawaii. I think I'll struggle to put the same kind of heart and soul into it, Fridno said. Of course, it's a world championship, but it just doesn't have the same prestige and the same feel and the conditions aren't as iconic. You know, that heat, the wind, and all those things that really make or break athletes, you would know. In 2017, the two-time defending champion, Fridno led the race going into the run when conditions got the better of him. He had to walk the marathon. That big island misty includes even larger for amateur triathletes, the economic engine of the sport. As a result, there are too many qualified athletes to fit in the transition area on the Kona Pier on one day. Ironman's solution is to hold a two-day race in October 2022 that could result in the field doubling to some 5,000 athletes. That's a healthy boost in cash flow. Amateurs pay $1,500 each for the privilege to suffer in Kona. The women will race on Thursday and the men will race on Saturday. Instead of one live broadcast, there will be two. If they put the same level of coverage and media into the women's race as they do with the men, then it can only be a good thing, said Lucy Charles Barkley, the rising English star who won the 70.3 or half Ironman World Championships in 2021 and has finished second in Kona three times. I'm hopeful that if we get the coverage that we deserve then it will just bring a lot more attention to the women's sport. But given that the women will race with week, that benefit could be limited, especially in Europe, where triathlon is more popular than in North America. Hovering over this entire conversation is the notion that these changes might not be temporary going to have an opportunity, that frankly none of us were anticipating, to see what an Ironman World Championship outside of Hawaii looks like, Messick said. Moving the championship race every other year could be revealing. Different conditions would provide a rotating series of challenges to the world's top endurance athletes. It could also expand access. Trudeau has heard all those arguments and suggestions before and remains a traditionalist. Kona is the golden egg of Ironman as a brand and as a sport, he said. The thing that's really made Ironman over the years is having a world championship in Hawaii.